Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Um, you're probably wondering what's going on in the background. Um, for the first time ever, I'm actually on the other side of the table um, because I have uh, wet paint on the other side of the table where I normally work um, and I'm waiting for the paint to dry um, because I'm waiting for the skins to dry so that I can peel them off my mats. So I didn't want to mess that up on that side. So I've come to the other side of the table where you can see my daughter's uh, little playhouse here, dollhouse. Um, I hope the lighting is okay on this side. I've never actually recorded on this side. Um, but anywho, enough about that. I'll bring you guys down and we'll get started in a minute and I'll tell you guys what I'm up to. So let's bring this down here. All right, so you're probably wondering what that is. So if you want to get right to the painting, fast forward about five minutes. Um, if you want to hear about the um, silicone mats that I've been using, um, the Loli Vefi silicone mats, um, you probably can't see it. Nope, my camera's not low enough. But um, these are the awesome silicone mats I've been using. Like I said, I have them all over the table. Um, and the two on that end are have wet paint and they're drying and um, I've been getting a lot of questions and so has Adriana now Adriana is the owner of Loli Vefi um, and she's been getting a lot of questions as well about how do you clean the thing um, so if you have dry paint or dry varnish or dry resin on it um, you know, if you have the scraper, which I'm sure you do, if you've ordered a mat, you've gotten the scraper, um, you know, if you scrape off the wet paint while it's still wet, it's good to go. However, in my case, as you can see, I've got varnish, I've got resin, I've got all kinds of stuff stuck to this, um, these mats. And it's been a really long time, um, since I've actually cleaned them. So I thought I would just show you guys really quickly how easy it is to clean them off. So what I have here is just a bowl of hot water and some soap, some dish soap. And then I have one of these sponges. They're just dollar store sponges. Um, and it's got the hard surface on the back. So what I do is I literally just put water on it, just like so, let it soak in a bit. And this back part, if you just put a little elbow grease in there, it should all come off pretty easily um, if it's paint it'll come off really easily um, if it's varnish or resin um, you might take a little bit more elbow grease you know to get it off but oh, look at that big chunker um, it does come off so let's see i don't can you see this yeah you can see part of that so this is paint um i'm not shaking the camera too much am i <laughs> But anyways, you can see, maybe, hopefully, that just by using the back of this, I'll show you. I'll, there's a lot of soap suds going on around here. So all you got to do is just get one of these, put a little elbow grease into it, put a little power into it. Oh wow, there's a lot of gunk on here. Man, it's been a while since I cleaned my mats. I guess it was due time though, right? So, the paint comes off super easily. Let me see if I can just wipe that here. And you'll see the paint that was here has come off. So basically, like I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and clean the whole thing because I'm about to paint over it and make a mess anyway, um, but if you do really want to know how to clean the mat, um, that's how you clean it. Um, even if you want to, you could just let hot water soak on it for a little bit. I'm sure it'll be even easier after that. Um, see, look, it's all coming off to peel it off. So the longer it soaks, the easier it'll be for it to come off. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera there, guys. But you get the idea comes off really easily you definitely need one of these um, with the hard part on the back and then just take a paper towel and wipe her clean and i got soap everywhere i need a new one but yeah so that is um, how you would clean the mats 
Um, if you wanted to do it really quickly, that's how I cleaned my mats after my um, workshops that I did. I sat there with the uh, sponge um, because they had dried before I got a chance to clean them off. Um, but yeah, so if you have really, really dry paint on there and you want to clean it off, just grab the sponge and some hot soapy water and it'll come off. All right, so now I'm just going to move this out of the way. Uh, yeah, I'll just put it right back here. All right. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Oh, so if you're interested in that, um, I have the link listed below in the description. A lot of people ask me, where's the description? Um, there's a little upside down triangle if you're watching from your phone or your iPad. Um, just click on that little triangle and it'll expand um, and you'll see all kinds of stuff under there. Um, if you're watching from your computer, just click on the button where it says, or the words that say see more. Um, not see more, but see more. <laughs> and then you'll see the description below. So. Anywho, if you saw my last video, whoop, uh, and I did the greens, I went out of my comfort zone and did greens. It's almost dry. There's just a little spot here in the middle um, that is still a smidge wet, but the rest, like all of this, um, is dry. And it is shimmery, shiny, and beautiful. So that is the dried result and um, it's sold. <laughs> um, it's already sold. I had a lovely lady uh, email me the day I released the video and uh, she bought it. So that is that. Um, so if there's anything um, you ever see me do on a video and you're interested in the piece, feel free to email me. Again, my email is listed in the description below. Um, email me, let me know if you want the piece before I throw it up on Etsy. Um, okay, so that is done. Do I, I've got paint under here and it's really jabbing my finger. Sorry guys. Okay, we've got a 12 by 10 canvas. No, 10 by 20. Goodness, what time is it? 9.49, it's bedtime. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. It is a level three. So it is a gallery wrapped canvas. And that means it's um, one and a half inches thick. I have taped the bottom as I always do. Okay. And don't forget, it is very important to make sure all your canvases are level when you are about to paint. Um, because if they are not level, then it will all slide off while it's drying and it will not be pretty. All right. Okay. That is perfect. If you want to know where to get one of these, I have them listed in my Amazon shop. They're a couple of bucks. Um, so that is also listed below. Okay. So tonight I, we're not centered. There we go. So tonight, um, I went out the other day and I went to Michael's and, um, I bought more of the Pebeo Studio Acrylics iridescent paints. I love the iridescent paints. They are amazing. And so, um, the brand has seven iridescent paint colors. And um, I had most of them, but I was missing a few. So I went out. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of trapped here. What have I done to myself? I'm a complete debacle. It's just not my night here tonight, guys. I'm a little tangled up. There we go. Goodness. It's, be it's because I forgot my white paint. All right. Plug my hair dryer back in. I really need to invest in a cordless microphone. That is my problem here, guys. But um, they're a little expensive, so I'm gonna stick with what I've got. Uh, okay, I need my white. I guess I should have had that and I forgot. 
I've been busy prepping rounds with taping the backs of them and gesso and all kinds and it's just been a busy night. Okay, so I decided to buy, I, like I said, I had most of them, but I wanted to buy all seven of them. So we have, in no particular order, we have iridescent blue, I can't read upside down, iridescent blue green. Then we have the iridescent green blue. Then we have the iridescent orange yellow, and then the green yellow. Yep, green yellow. And then this one is the iridescent red blue. And then we have iridescent violet blue. And finally, the last color is iridescent blue black. So I am very excited. I'm going to try them all. I'm, no joke. I'm just going to throw them all down on the canvas, all colors, whether they match or not, and we will see how it turns out. So I've already put them here in my squeeze bottles. I just have yet to make a label for my new ones, um, but I have them all here with the exception of the blue black because I ran out of squeeze bottles. I need to get more, but I just mixed it here and you can see um, the consistency is um, pretty thin. All right. so. Let's get started because I'm already, oh my God, 12 minutes in. Oh, it is just seriously not my night because my torch is over there and I need it. Come on, I can't open this. Oh, there we go. Okay, I, guys, seriously, I feel like I'm discombobulated tonight. Like, no joke. Okay, got the torch. Okay, so she works. That's great. Let's um, flood the canvas with white. Let's get things moving because uh, I don't want this to be a really long video, although it's looking to be that way. So I'm really sorry about that. I try and keep them short now, but that doesn't always happen. So I will do this as quick as possible. So for those of you who are new watching and you're wondering what the heck I just poured on the canvas, um, it is my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White um, mixed in with Floetrol and water. If you would like to know how I mix my paints, my ratios, um, check out video number 63. I'll link it up here in the top as well. You can click on that um, and it'll show you how I mix my colors um, in these squeeze bottles um, for my Dutch pours. Um, now in the, in the movie, in the video, um, because it's a old video, it's about three months old, I mention that I do not mix my white, I just eyeball it, um, and that I don't put water in it. Well, since then that has changed. Um, I do mix my white to be exactly the same as all my other colors um, because it is very important that all colors are the exact same consistency. If it's not, then you will have issues with your Dutch pour. So keep in mind when watching that video, if you're watching it, number 63, I mean, that you must um, mix the white the same way you mix all paints, all colors, all of them. All right, so keep that in mind. All right, so same thing as in this one, just in the squeeze bottle, which makes it really easy for me to get my edges covered. All right, they are covered. I really should have taken my rings off. You know what? Let me take them off because last time I took them to the jeweler and he was like, what are you doing? And I said, I know it's gross. Okay. I'm going to torch it because there's a lot of bubbles in here. 
Let's torch this. Get all the bubbles out. Because there's a lot of them. Because I just shook the white. Alrighty. So, bubbles are out. Now, let's start... I think I'm going to start with the um, blue black. Start it at the bottom. And of course, we all know I have become obsessed with my squiggly lines. I don't puddle pour anymore. I can't tell you the last time I puddle poured anything Dutch pour. So uh, next, I think I'm going to go with the it, it, like I mean it doesn't matter what order you're doing this in I like I mean I'm just picking colors here at this point I won't put the blues together though that's one one thing I won't do I will separate them so let's do the am I missing a color one two three four five six I am Where's this one? In my, oh my God, it's in my hand. <laughs> oh, good God. Yep, when I finish this, guess where I'm going? To bed. Like seriously, um, that was really silly, Canela. All right, so that's done. Let's do, let's go with the, what is this? Red violet. It'll be interesting, because I, I don't know if these colors all really work together um so we'll see like i mean you know me right if it doesn't turn out good she's gonna get scraped um but we'll see Ooh. they they really are very shiny and shimmery though like it's insane how beautiful and vibrant the colors are all right and now the green. Didn't put too much over here, let's add some more. This might even be way too much color, but boy, look at that rainbow. <laughs> and last but not least, the, I think one of my favorites out of the bunch is the iridescent green blue. Oh my God, that's a lot of paint. Alrighty. Let's flood with white on this side. And it's very colorful. Whoops. Very colorful, though. It's insane. Like, it looks really neat. All right. Put the lid on that so we don't have an accident. I'm going to torch all the bubbles. All right, bubbles, lots of bubbles. All right, guys, let's see what happens. Okay, let's blow this out. You guys can see, right? Look at those colors, wow. All right, let's blow it. All right white has been blown over now i'm going to start in the middle blow half this way half that way um someone asked me why don't i just start here and blow out because if you start here you're going to end up blowing all the paint right off and it's not going to be proportionate um, you're going to end up with a little bit here or a lot and then a little on the other side so i always blow in the middle all right let's uh, do this i'm going to end up blowing that It's so shimmery. It's crazy how sparkly it is. It's like a rainbow of colors. Holy cow, that looks super neat. I like it. So the only thing I'm going to do is, 
I'm gonna blow a little bit here for this white patch and then maybe here. So let's see. All right, so that takes care of that. There's a lot of white here too. Maybe I'll just do that too without getting my hair in there. There we go. There is a lot of paint on here. All right, so the key is to blow um, really gently as well, um, because if you blow, oh crap. I lost a push pin. Oh, poop, I mean. <laughs> oh. Where did that bugger come out from? Up there. See? I lost a push pin. I better put it back if I can. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, Come on. Not good, guys, I tell you. Okay, I got it. I hope I didn't mess that up. <sighs> okay. There's a lot of paint on here, so. All right, so now I'm just gonna blow that part. Wow, look at the cells that are forming. That's insane. Okay, it's so pretty. You know what though? I think I did add way too much color though. Um, way too much paint. I clearly did not need that much, um, but there is a lot in there. So uh, let's torch it, the outsides, and see what happens. Cause I know there's something going on out here. All right, I don't like torching the center anymore um, because I just like the way it looks as is without those million teeny, teeny, tiny bubbles. All right, so let me bring you guys down for a close up and show you how awesome this looks without dropping anything because it's been a klutzy video. All right, check it out. So there is definitely a rainbow of colors happening here. Um, it's just insane. Look how vibrant this, look at this right here. That is so cool. Look at those cells right there. Look at the cells here. It's so cool. How awesome is that? I like it. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna try it again, but I'm gonna use less paint this time. Um, I think I just put way too much on the canvas, but I do like it. So there you have it, Iridescent Colors by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Um, I do buy them from Michaels, but in, in Canada, I am in Canada, don't forget, but not every Michaels carries them. So for those of you who are local, um, Barry Michaels does not sell them. I buy them uh, in the mic at the Michaels in Toronto. So. Um, you can also get them online, but Curry's uh, also sells the Pebeo brand. So, anywho, let me know what you guys think. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs up. And um, don't forget to subscribe, guys. I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a new video. And check out all my social media links below, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, I'm on all of those. If you are too, feel free to follow me. Um, I'd appreciate that. And my Amazon shops where you can buy the spatula, the torch, all the stuff. Um, my PayPal link. Thank you so much um, to, oh gosh, I can't remember now. I've lost my train of thought. I will mention it in my next video because I totally forgot. 
but to those who have donated I really do appreciate it um, it means a lot to me because every little bit helps for me to continue doing these tutorials um, and that is it and uh, my Etsy shop so if you want this piece email me otherwise it goes up on my Etsy shop um, once it's dry in about a week or so um, and that's it guys so thank you for watching don't forget if you want the silicone mat check out the link below use code canela5 and you save five dollars off the mat um, and it's free shipping in the US thank you very much have a good night and I'll see you guys on the next one Bye. You want the ball? Are you ready? Come on. Come on. Can I have it? You can bring it back. Come on. Oh, come on. Can I have it? Juno, get it. Come on. Get it. Oh no. <laughs> Come here. Ready? Juno, sit. Can you sit for mama? Juno. <laughs> oh, it's a good boy. Can I have your paw? Oh, it's a good boy. What about the other one? Oh, it's a good boy. Can you lay down? Can you lay down? Can you lay down? Oh, you're so smart. There you go. See, he's a good boy. Are you a good boy? Do you know? Are you a good boy? You got your ball? What a beautiful day. Sun is setting. Do you know? Do you know? All right, I guess we'll go. Hi, handsome.